Uh, we've just finished our first workshop um, with the YMCA choir. So this has been going a few weeks, is that right? Wow, what a new thing. We have 13 kids all together and they're from a wide range of backgrounds in the local community. Uh, we didn't know what we were going to do, we didn't know whether we were going to do something improvised or whether we were going to do a, sort of a set piece. Can we get everyone in here? I just want, I want to get as, become a band. And we ended up doing a song called Don't Stop Believing. It's a journey song, it's massive isn't it? It's a massive journey. We were singing, but he had to learn the, how to play it first. And they came in amongst the band and got in amongst us and sang out front. So they sang out their little hearts and it was, uh, it was beautiful. He was absolutely amazing with the kids, he really got in touch with them and brought them in. Everybody was excited and enthusiastic to work with them, it was great. It was um, well, very fun and I really enjoyed it. They were very good. <laughs> that was amazing. Right, well, we brought along a tune that uh, we wrote and it's kind of got a weird sort of timing on it, actually, the phone thought it'd be fun to see what they thought of it. Like a diggy, dinky, dinky, all that stuff was really lovely. It was great. Uh, really approachable guys, really relaxed, really uh, competent musicians, you know, there was no problems. There was, it was more fun, more than anything. A very challenging piece of music they gave to us with lots of tricky time signatures, which appealed to us greatly. We, we, we delve into that world quite a lot. It's the first time we've had a piano player in the band, so uh, it's a very distinct sound and it's very uh, unusual for the style of music that we play. But it was good because it sort of maybe lent, made us kind of lend ourselves to it, more of a sort of open, more approach to it. Like. They were fabulous musicians, actually. I think there's a lot of great musicians in this town. Those guys ha had fantastic, fantastic ears. It was really cool because usually we don't make stuff up just randomly. We kind of do learn a piece bit by bit and kind of get it down. But it was really fun to just kind of mess around and kind of try new things and do kind of a different style than we're used to. So that was very fun. We came up with some interesting riffs actually. Actually, you know, maybe with Neil and the guys were coming up with them. We were kind of just playing along and seeing what we could kind of fit in. They were interested in seeing the traditional Japanese rhythms as well, and the festival rhythms, and kind of working around those, so it's great. On the hoof, they began to loop, and we began to play around with that, you know, highlighting, bringing out certain beats that, that they were playing, and playing along with them. And then we did a breakdown to only uh, Evan on the drums and Taiko drummers, and, and Evan, Evan took a song. Which is really nice, I could kind of sit back and just watch a, a whole bunch of drummers do their thing with a look of joy on their faces. It was really enjoyable, man. Really enjoyable. Yeah! I'm doing a collaboration with uh, the Neil Cowley Trio. They beautifully reworked my, uh, my debut single, Little Fuzz. It was, it was just phenomenal. Better than I could ever have hoped. If you imagine all the parts in Little Fuzz, that are done by keyboard or, or guitar or drums or whatever. If you imagine them, you take them away and you replace them with something that the Neil Cowley Trio do, and then I just do what I do over the top of it. And it was essentially what happened, but it was, it was a lot more jazzy, kind of very smooth, very laid back a lot, a lot more focused on the melody. It, it started with just that, um, see the, the synth part in the background? That's, that's literally how it started. Lawrence is a, you know, a programmer and a bass player and a singer, and and we're a jazz trio, so uh, yeah, it's a nice collaboration, really nice. Like I say, a really nice way to start the day. But essentially, we just um, we reworked one of his tunes, got some, made made a uh, made a new bit up at the beginning, a new bit up at the end, and then just sort of grooved away. I think it was just nice to do his tune with real instruments and have a bit of freedom of expression. Hey, I might have some time off then. If you're going to be playing the keyboards, you get a nice rhythm section, and I get to watch. I like this. It's going to work beautifully. Yeah, well, we had a fantastic session. Uh, the guys are all really, really nice, and uh, yeah, we just worked on we just worked on a new arrangement of one of my tunes that was that was on the last album. So uh, we played around with it for a while, and the guys had a few suggestions that they thought would work well, which I agreed with. Uh, so we did that, and yeah, we had a good 
good couple of hours, a lot of fun, and I think we got a pretty good take as well of, of one of the tunes. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. Oh,